Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, so today is going to be uh, regarding sovereigns. I'm going to read the definition of sovereignty. Sovereigns, um, sovereign states, as well as sovereign rights, as well as uh, are numerous other things that I have acquired from uh, Black Locks dictionaries, Bouvier's dictionaries, and a numerous other amount of sources. So let's get this started. Oh, well, what is a sovereign? A sovereign is a chief ruler with supreme power... One possessing sovereignty. It is also applied to a king or other magistrates with limited powers. So remember, judges are magistrates, so they are considered sovereigns. Um, this is the definition from English law, sovereign. The name of a gold coin in Great Britain with the value of a pound of silver. A pound of sterling. Um, sovereign state. One who governs itself independently of any foreign powers. That's really literally what the Tenth Amendment was for. Um, was to give us power to keep foreign powers like D.C., who are not part of the United States or the Union, um, from, from, from uh, taking and seizing power, which Governor Newsom has easily given over. Um, sovereignty. The union and exercise of all human power possessions in a state. It is combination of all. Uh, is a combination of all power. It is the power to do everything in the state without accountability, to make laws, to execute and apply commerce with foreign nations and the like. Well. That applies to politicians, right? Because they can do anything and laws don't apply to them. They're absolutely immune. So they consider themselves part of the sovereign, the, the sovereignty, the sovereigns. When analyzed, sovereignty is a, a, a naturally divided into three powers, namely legislative, the executive, and judiciary. The first power is to make new laws and correct and repeal old ones. The second in the power is to execute laws both home and abroad. The last power is to be applied to laws that, to particular facts, to judges. The di uh, the disputes which are which arise among citizens to punish crimes. Uh, we've discussed what a crime is and how. All of them are civil. Uh, four, strictly speaking, in one of the republican forms of government, absolute sovereignty of the nation is in the people of the nation, and, residually, and the residual, residual sovereignty of each state, and granted when any of the public fact, uh, functionaries is in the people of the state. Dallas, four, four seven one, and Vide, generally. Two, Dallas, 43, 45, 3, Dow, which is Dallas, 93. And then it says, one story, Constitution 208, one, uh, cool, T-R-O-U-L dot N, 20, M-E-R-T dot R-E-P-E-R dot H-R-T. I'll put that out the link. Um, that is the definition of sovereignty, state sovereignty, sovereign from the English Law Dictionary, and uh, then the Bouvier's 1856 uh, sovereign. Now, this is from a Black Law Dictionary 6th edition. Sovereign, a person or body or state which is independent and has supreme authority in is is uh is vested a chief ruler with supreme power a king or ruler in monarch you see how bouvier and black laws dictionary both have the same almost literally the same definition of sovereign um for a king or ruler that's invested in power in itself now that's very interesting um I have letters from the courts saying uh, that they are vested with independent power. Uh, independent power from who? I never specified who they are. They're independent courts. Um, they said they're... But we know dichotomy is in place. Um, the pol this, is, uh, this is the definition of sovereign people. 
sovereign people, the political body consisting of entire numbers of citizens and qualified electors in who their collective capacity possesses the power of sovereign, uh, sovereign of sovereignty and the exercise them through the chosen representatives. See Scott versus Sanford. Uh, that was an 1856 case, actually. Um, that was the one where the 14th Amendment actually started to come into play. Um, ironically, it still doesn't apply to us because we have no civil rights. We have no none of this. None of this applies to us because we're not 14th Amendment citizens. Um, I've already shown this. I mean, Washington, D.C., first off. 51st Congress, 151st, uh, H.R. 51, uh, 116th Congress. They're not part of the Union, so that makes them a foreign body. Second, they have to file under the FARA. They did not file under the FARA Act. Uh, that's the Foreign Registration uh, Registered Agent Act. So there's a Foreign Registered Agent Act of 1938, and all agencies must apply. And remember that... Um, they have not, because why? Because they're acting as that sovereign state, that power that's acting independent, um, autonomously from from any other government, but has the right to say over any other government. Um, so sovereign people, we discussed was a number of citizens or elect qualified electors, sovereign power or so sovereign prerogative. That is the state to which none other is superior or equal, and which includes all specific powers necessary to accomplish the legitimate ends of purpose of government. Latina Casualty and Surety Company versus Branwell, DC, OR 12F2D307309. Um, sovereign right, a sovereign right which the state alone or some governmental agencies can possess, which the possession in the character of sovereign for the common benefit and enable it to carry out the proper functions distinguished from such propriety, proprietary, sorry, proprietary rights as a state, like any private person, may have in property or demand which it owns. Sovereign state, as defined. States who are subject to citizens who are, who are uh, states, a uh, sovereign state. States who are subject or citizens or inhabitants of obedience to them and which they themselves are not subject to any other or paramount state in any respect. So, Washington, D.C., let's say D.C. wanted to prosecute me, uh, the FBI, but California said, no, uh, you can't do that. Uh, that's because that's the state having control of the sovereign, the sovereign state, and it, it I'm not allowing um, the... Uh, the interference within with of foreign governments within within the union. Um, sovereign states are states who are uh, subject to the habits and obedience of themselves and subject to others in paramount to any respect. The state is a semi sovereign only, not a full sovereign. So they're only semi sovereign, not fully sovereign. Um, they're not sovereign when in any respects, to respect its liability to be controlled by paramount government. In the intercourse of nations, certain states have positions of entire independence or other, or of others, sorry, um, and performance to all those acts possible for the state to perform in those particular spheres. The same state also has the entire power of self-government, that is, the independence upon all others of this particular sphere. The same states also have the entire power of self-government, that is, the independent upon all other states, 
as far as their own territory, and citizens not living abroad concerned. No foreign power or law can have control except by convention. That's constitutional convention. Um, they have to hold... Te- this is why I'm very heavily opposed to national security directives, executive orders. I believe that executive order powers should be limited. I also believe that national security directives should not exist at all. They should, there should be no executive security directive orders uh, that are subverting the Constitution. It should Everything should have to go through Congress. Um, but... But you have to remember that they have to register, foreign governments have to register under FARA. Um, Like every government that's incorporated is a business. Yes, incorporation, I talked with the state of California, and I asked them, even if you're a nonprofit or a government agency, uh, can you be a... um, can when you're incorporated, uh, does that qualify you as a corporation? Um, they said yes. Even if I said even if you're a nonprofit, that still makes you under government uh, under the corporate code, correct? The individual told me yes. Um, so this this continued to show me. Okay, so if you're incorporated, you can be a corporation, even if you're a non-profit corporation. Any type of incorporation is is considered a um, is considered a a body, and that is a um, remember under eight uh, twenty eight three zero zero two, which applies to government entities. Now remember that that also applies to instruments and mentalities of the United States uh, that are attached. That means all U.S. post uh, patents, everything that has been registered in, in the U.S., that is uh, considered a security of the United States or sec- because, because uh, they also hold title to it. They are the holder in due course. Now, I want to also read... Um, Sovereignty. So this is Black Laws 1990 uh, definition of sovereignty. The supreme and absolute uncontrollable power by which independent governed supreme political authority, the supreme will, paramount control of the constitution and fame of the government and administration, the self sufficient source of political power from which political power was derived, the international independence of the state combined with the rights and powers regulated in internal affairs without foreign dictation, also political societies or states which the sovereigns and independence. The power to do everything without accountability, to make laws, execute, apply, to impose and uh, to impose and collect taxes, levies, contributions, to make war, peace in the forms of treaty alliances or commerce with foreign nations and the like. A great example of a foreign nation is Disney. Disney has its own police force, its own laws, and it, it dictates only to itself. D- Disney is a corporation, but it can be autonomous and it can be independent and still hold its own laws and still uphold laws of other countries. Just because you're sovereign doesn't mean you're immune from other laws. You still have to follow those laws, uh, but they have to also realize and respect your rights as a man and a sovereign. Um, now, most people say, well, you just lie online with everything that, that the, the sovereign citizen movement stands for. Um, but I've actually done the research. I actually printed out, well, technically, I, I printed out a wording of it, but I can find the link to these links some of these links have been taken down because they didn't like that i posted them so when i when i called the company and i asked them hey why is this link taken down why was it taken down for um it was posted on my website and it wasn't taken down it was up for years until i posted it on my site and then it was taken down why um so people they will take down they will take down uh sites and i'll Make sure to try to to put them back up, to get them back up. Um, 
So I want to read the rest of this. The power of everything with the state of capital. Uh, we already covered that. That almost that literally is the same as Bouvier's Law Dictionary of Sovereign. Um, that talks about being immune, having and being, being making laws applicable. You see, there's a, a a thing going there with government, right? Why can government be sovereign, but we have to be? We can't be. That doesn't make sense. Um, and if they have the if they have a rule such as consent to govern. Consent, well, consent means I'm giving you permission. Uh, to be governed is for somebody to rule over you, obviously. So I am giving consent for somebody to rule over me. But I'm, so I'm allowing a foreign political corporate state to function over me. Now, I have shown in, in past videos, videos of, of uh, evidence of the, the state, the corrupt state, the police state, um, things like this. Um, I'm going to show these again because last time I posted them, my videos were taken down and uh, because my site was being monitored. Um, uh, I want to read the rest of this. Um, Sovereigns is government that is public authority, which directs and orders what is to be done to each member associated in relations to the end associations, the supreme power by which citizens is governed and the person or body or the person of state is political, no superior, uh, whom there is no political, no, uh, so where whom there is politically no superior. Uh, I'm going to read that again because I kind of, I messed that one up. Sovereign, sovereignty, is it, is it government is Sovereignty in government is that political authority which directs or orders what is to be done by each member associated relations to the end of the association. It's supreme power by which any citizen is governed and the person or body of person to whom the state is polit whom there is no whom there is politically no superior. The necessary existence of the state and the right in which necessary following is sovereignty by sovereignty. In its largest sense, meaning supreme, absolute, uncontrollable power with absolute, with absolute right to govern by the words itself comes nearest by being the definition of sovereign it is it is is will or via, uh, violation of validity of uh, v-o-l-i-t-i-o-n as applied to the political affairs see city of bisbee versus uh, koski c-o-c-h-i uh, c-o-c-h-i-s-e city of bisbee that's b-i-s-b-e-e -E, versus koski c-o-c-h-i-s-e um these are the definitions of sovereignty you also have to remember that the birth certificates were made and created in fraud in 1988 which created birth which created employment which created birth, uh, which created employment which created um citizenship i can actually post those in 1988 and 19 uh sorry it was 1999 2000 uh which also again continued to show uh birth certificate fraud now um and this being used as a source of employment to the federal government um this this can also be seen in Kim Wong, which, yes, they did uh, decide with the state, but the state's always going to decide with the state, and the federal government's always going to agree with the government, no matter what. Um, uh, but these cases were were cases uh, that set the stage um, for uh, the... Um, the whole state citizen versus federal citizen. In Temer versus Jones, Temer said he was a state citizen but not a federal citizen because the federal 14th Amendment did not apply to him because he was it was outside of the jurisdiction and range. Um, the state, again, um, disagreed 
I'll post a link. Um, they ruled in favor of the state. But let's just say that um, the state also is you're not a state citizen either because in your state, each individual state is registered and has a business registered and is, a, is, is actually, again, a corporation. That's all it is. So unless you're a corporate citizen and, like I said, i uh, I'll post a link, I'll post information. This, this is uh, purely informational. Um, you do the research yourself. I'm not going to do all the research for you. I'm giving you, uh, pointing out things um, that are just blatantly wrong with, with the whole sovereign movement. Only the state government can be sovereign, I guess. Apparently, from reading this, it, apparently it seems to me like only the state and its employees can be sovereign and its citizens. Um, but how can a foreign government, foreign agency, be sovereign? Um, you know, they, they, they can't... And, and then dictate over a, a, a group of people. See... Right to consent. I have the right to say no. What happened to the old 80s? No means no. Um, I don't have... The cops don't protect you. They protect the corporations and the... Uh, they enforce statutes and codes. So do uh, judges. And judges enforce statutes and codes. There has not been any judges. They're all administrative. But... Um, I already know that there's going to be people on here hating and saying, well, no, that's not true. What you read is actually inaccurate. Um, but uh, I actually read this from sources, from legal sources and legal sources. This is the some of the legal sources. This is my this is actually my list here. Now, this is good. I'm going to redo this, uh, but this is the list I'm going to, I'm, I'm doing that for, uh, the courts. I'm going to use it as a, a table time, uh, like a table for like a book, um, makes it easier for, uh, individual reading than hitting them with a shitload of fucking paperwork. But see, that's why they call us paper terrorists because we hit them with a shitload of information because information always changes. Uh, a law, a law that can't be changed or or moved or or altered. Uh, that's not that's not a functional law. Mm. And a lot of these laws aren't functional. We create laws that don't apply to us. Um, the statutes were were later revised, and those later revised statutes uh, uh, we call statutory codes um, actually um, don't apply to us. If you look. Uh, if you look more closely and actually, um, do homework, you'll find that a lot of the stuff people are saying is true. It's just, there's people out there that don't want to believe it's true or, or government shills. Um, I don't believe that everybody's a government show. I believe that a lot of the information is incorrect. And rather than telling people, well, you're wrong and you're you're a criminal and you're a crook uh send give them information so they can revise and relearn the things that they need to learn so that they may appropriately apply it see i'm not a sovereign i'm a secured party creditor for all those who wish to know i am the secured party creditor i hold all form of beneficiary equitable uh title to my estate which when i'm talking about my state i'm actually talking about a private business i own in the state of minnesota uh i actually own a, a private business and um that's the estate and since i did the way i spelt it and the fact that i have a patent so it doesn't matter actually the way it's spelt because the, the spelling doesn't matter as long as it is a registered entity and it's registered with the state and the appropriate agencies, then it is, in every sense of the word, considered a corporation. It takes 50 bucks, a little more than 50 bucks, because you have to pay and get the appropriate paperwork. But 50 bucks to start just to get the name of the corporation up. 
It cost me another 200 plus to get copyrights for the name, trademarks, uh, all that. Paid an attorney. Had him do it professional. Uh, I have a contract, a UCC commercial contract, as well as a anonymity clause for my corporation. I actually go through and have gone through the proper functions and channels to do so. So I could actually obtain what we have talked about today, the sovereign. So I can act in autonomy and I can act independently from, from foreign government. Remember, because they are a foreign government. They, the greatest example of a government show is Hillary. Look how many dummy accounts, dummy corporations she has set up. Look how many dummy accounts Bill Gates has set up. Uh, look how many dummy accounts uh, a lot of these individuals have. LLCs, corporations. They hide behind those corporations and protect themselves. We can do the same thing. People are teaching it wrong. And I'm here to show you the right way to do it. Free of charge, of course. The only price of admission is time. And if you don't have the time to do this, then you have completely wasted <laughs> your whole day then. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share, comment, like. Um, there will be more content like this. Thank you.